Thanks for visiting Fox 17 online. I'm meteorologist Craig Edwards. A lot of rain out there for today, and it looks like we could get between two and maybe even up as much as five inches of rain in parts of Middle Tennessee for today and tomorrow. So flash flooding is certainly a possibility. This is from the Nashville area, generally around I-65 and eastward across the plateau and into the eastern part of the state and reaching all the way back up into parts of West Virginia. Stronger storms are possible down to the south, south of Atlanta. Some strong thunderstorms could erupt over parts of Georgia and into Alabama. So we'll be watching both of these areas as we go through the day. This is all a big low pressure cell that's kind of making its way in the upper atmosphere off to the north and east. It has a lot of moisture with it and it's all coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. The stationary front you see off to the northwest is actually going to bring all of this to an end. By tomorrow, the cold front comes rushing in. The cooler, drier air is back here, kind of forcing this out of the way. So the rain possibilities and the flooding possibilities will start to move off to the east and head into parts of New England. And it looks like we could get some strong storms that will erupt along the Atlantic seaboard all the way from areas around New York and Connecticut back down to Georgia. Georgia. So certainly some very active weather taking place tomorrow, but it should be east of Nashville as the sun will start to move in here by Wednesday. And it's going to feel like fall in the middle of the week. In the meantime, for today, a 100% chance of rain, 74 degrees at 4 o'clock, 68 degrees by 10 o'clock. Tomorrow, a 60% chance of rain early in the day. It will start at 64 degrees. We'll have more coming up tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock. Make sure you tune in to Fox 17 News.